The Fed's, the Fed's seized more than a million dollars from a company they say ordered and shipped test kits to people who never ordered them, billing Medicare, costing taxpayers thousands. In documents obtained by 12 News, Patrick say the Fed seized $1.5 million from a bank account of a Chicago company, SK Diagnostics. 12 News has learned more than a dozen companies are running this scheme. More than 160 Wisconsinites that we know of have been caught in the middle. I've never ever met anyone from these labs. I've never requested anything from these labs. I've never used the lab. It started as one call from one person to 12 News back in August concerned Medicare paid for COVID test kits on their behalf that they never ordered. Now, 12 News is learning the Department of Justice and FBI are closing in on companies accused of ordering and shipping those test kits. In a warrant for the bank account of the company SK Diagnostics in Chicago, feds say in a nine-week period between March and June, the company was paid more than $43 million by Medicare. Documents show they'd billed Medicare for COVID test kits on behalf of more than 465,000 people and 471 others who had died. Remember when I said, oh, yeah. I don't remember, yeah, I, I don't remember getting, ordering these. What? Marilyn Manger had a Medicare statement saying SK Diagnostics billed Medicare on her behalf. Speaking to our sister station, WBAL-TV in Baltimore. It's easy money and it's all about let's make money without having to do the work and do it on the backs of those of us who worked our whole lives. Documents show the owner of the company bought a plane ticket to India and left Chicago the same day the feds interviewed him. Earlier this month, 12 News caught up with Bakar Hussein Rav Syed. He's charged in federal court in Illinois for defrauding the government of more than $31 million in a similar scheme using his own company, Luna Labs. You can talk to Matt Rooney for now. We can't talk to you? No. I'm what? sorry. He has pleaded not guilty, has a trial date set for next year. If convicted, he faces a maximum of 10 years in prison. $74 million total between the two companies, but this could just be the tip of the iceberg? It could be. These are just two companies, Patrick, that we know of. Dozens of others are listed on bills for people who tell us they didn't order COVID test kits and likely didn't receive them. Federal court records show the FBI DOJ also investigating 11 other Chicago area companies. They would not confirm who those companies were. We know you will stay on this story. James Stratton reporting tonight. James, thank you.